Third time's the charm. I may not have gotten it right with Charlotte. She was 14. I may not have gotten it right with Fam. She's a he. But this time, this time, she is a she and she is a milf, alcoholic, drunkard, royalty, noble. I think that she shares the same last name as the uh, previous emperor that passed away, but it is not like you know, the direct sister of the second princess or the first princess. That was wrong. Now, we're, like, trying to get her to be on our team. We're praising her. She's actually insane. And I expect us to do more leadership kind of roles today. Let's begin today's reaction. Mirei. A praise. Oh, my God, these stats. So kick Rosa out. Kick Lisha out, too. Kick Rosa out. Kick Lisha out. They're, they're power crap. Mm -hmm. You can be my babysitter. There it is. The relation to Salamakia. So I'm just going to assume that once the king died, the governor died, she just kind of decided everything's fucked and went on a drunken stupor and just like started venturing around. Russell's gonna be like, oh, I know that you just appraised her. And you know, her stats are better than mine. You're not gonna kick me out now, will you? Why? Really? Bad reputation? Driven from the castle. Because of the drink? Okay, so this is the relationship. Not a sister, of course, to, you know, Vasmark, but to Baldi, who is the right hand to their enemy. Yep. Really? Baldi is that cracked? Uh, we can trust her. Maybe Baldi is not that good compared to her. Nah, I'm sorry, Ritz. I'm taking her in. Easy. あ、あるさま。今、僕が保証します。うん。リシアさん、わからないから単純な裏切りやすさだとは言いなくて mm. like highest stat character so far. Armpit。お願いします。だってよ。あるさま。I think Rosa was truly afraid of getting replaced there. Okay, we got plus one milf. I feel like you can get away with this if you've proven your worth and you get special treatment, but coming in as a rookie and pulling this shit, probably a bad look. I still want to start with Mirel, though. She making you drink? <laughs> she said, fuck teaching you. I'm just going to make you do cardio instead so I can just drink. Yeah, I guess she is kind of a fault. You're supposed to figure it out. The hidden meaning. No, I thought she was just fucking around. Charlotte? Okay. Charlotte, why the fuck did you do it in our home garden? Like, like of all the fucking places you could do it, you do it in front of our fucking street? Like, what is the idea here, girl? Go fucking to the mountain. Okay, they need to get corrected. Yeah, so you decided to blow up her fucking lawn? Soldiers on a fight? I get it. This is why she got driven out of the castle. Like, I thought that she's like this because the former governor died. And she's like in a depression arc and like, okay, I'm just gonna start drinking and became this. But it's like, nah. She's always been like this and that's why she got driven out of the castle. Is that what it's implying? <laughs> Can we give her special treatment? <laughs> like what? What are you gonna do to her? I mean, she gets free rent. <laughs> it's 
free rent, free food, free alcohol. The fuck? She gets a salary on top of that too. You're, you're paying her to be here. You think she wants to go outside right now? The governor. No, there's clearly a deep backstory they're not explaining right now. What? Between who? Ritz versus her. I want to see it. Ours can't fight for shit. Okay, Ritz wants a piece of that. Ritz is gonna lose. 100%. There's no way Ritz wins here. If he does, it gives him more of a reason to kick her out. He's been annoyed the entire episode. If he wins, it doesn't make sense. He's gonna fucking lose. Holy shit. I don't think Reach has ever lost so far, right? Hey, Reach is about to get power corrupt. <laughs> Reach <laughs> might get corrected, man. <laughs> Why are you here? What's up? You just popped up. So you came over that fast? <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte hates <laughs> these <laughs> A strategist who eats our food and does no work in exchange, I believe. Damn. Okay, even someone like Lishia is just being just brutally honest. So she is not fucking around either. Because like someone like her might have like like someone like her might try to like, you know, sugarcoat her words to make sure diplomacy is in play, but she's like, nah, nah, fuck that shit. <laughs> Are we wrong though? Are we wrong? <laughs> what about Alicia? <laughs> she mad. Oh, we fucked up. Yeah, we're, we're, we're sleeping on the fucking couch today. Yeah, we're getting kicked. She came over. She's gonna kick us out of our own fucking bed, bro. <laughs> the team match? Oh, I thought it'd be a 1v1. <laughs> Slay. What does it mean to slay? <laughs> okay. It's like tag football. You know, trying to kill each other. You just get hit bumped once and you're done. No fire. Learn some different elements. Potions? The different elemental magic using potions. <laughs> like that. No one's gonna be want to be on our side. Exactly. No one wants to be on our side. They hate her. Two v fifty. Charles is the only one that likes me. <laughs> the new we get the newbies. You know what? This is the perfect way to show how OP Mireille is. Now we have just recruits of newbies, right? Versus veterans and R and, and Ritz as everyone else. If Mireille can win with a shitty team like this, this will truly prove her worth and then she can get special treatment. <laughs> yeah, sounds fine to me. Imagine the alcohol is like nerfing her. Like Rock Lee waits. Like she's intentionally doing this to not show her true power level. And when she goes sober, it's like, holy shit, she's insane. Now, they'll accept her once they see her actual true talent in the battle. Not gonna lie, I'm not on Ritz's side today. Him being annoyed at Mirel, I get it, but I'm with Mirel, man. Are our siblings good for anything? Or they just trash. I think that she's gonna win. Yup. Roselle versus Mirel. Roselle doesn't like girls. The team morale is pretty <laughs> shitty here. Okay, she acknowledges him. <sighs> you just insulted us. What the fuck? What did she just say? Grotto wonder what he's doing out here in the sticks. The fuck? She, she, she literally just insulted our fucking place. We, we recruited him. He's here for a reason. And she's like, oh, he's too talented to be here in this fucking boonies. Like, what the fuck? 
あとはシャーロットちゃんもやばいねあんな逸材どうやって見つけたの僕が家臣になってくれるよ<笑>ってその2人が向こうにいるから僕たちめちゃくちゃにやったら戦力的に勝つのはまず無理だね。ノーモー、そうですね。そうなだって頑張ってるんですそうだそうだああ、ごめん。でも、Maybe still liquor talking. ミレイユさん、そういう言い方はよくないと思います。たし劣ってる部分しか。ない<笑>でも私たちは勝つよ。How? How we gonna win? インフィニッシュストラテジー相手が強いこと。Really? Because the other side, no teamwork? Alright. Who is this? Important character. I. That's not Rosa, that's not Risha in disguise. Who, who is this? Is it just a random NPC I don't need to worry about? Why, why did they focus in on this? I don't recognize this face or hair. Okay, interesting. Hey, how do we have blue hair, by the way? That's the mom right there, right? Our dad did not have blue hair. That's the mom right there, right? And then these two kids are siblings. Ours has blue hair. Where the fuck is the blue hair coming from? Right? Because, like, I don't think our father had blue hair. This, this girl doesn't have blue hair either. And, like, the genes are very strong. Ours and both kids, blue hair. Makes you think, is there anyone blue hair around here? Is there anyone we've met with blue hair? I don't think so. Probably doesn't matter. Probably doesn't matter, but kind of interesting, huh? だからこそ私たちは剣で突っ込んでゴーストレートダウンメイドの半分は戦闘を行きます私たちとの距離は一定に保ちます Interesting how we can only see the tip of the flag, so it's kind of ambiguous what's going on. Trap! But it's gotta be a bait. We want this to happen. Oh, this guy again. This guy again. Yeah, that was the person that they focused on before. Is this our plan? Or is he actually fucking betraying us? This is our plan, right? Hmm. I can tell. Right. trapped. I think this is the plan. Either this is honest and he is snitching, or this is like next level gigabrain play of him being ordered to tell this shit, or the level beyond this actually. The fucking giga gigabrain level beyond the level one, two. I just explained to you level one and level two mindset. Level three is Mirel knew that there was a rat, gave him the plan. Knowing that he would go and snitch informs them while we have a separate plan. That will be level three. Which one is it? Which one is it out of the three options? Hmm. Is this all still according to plan? Okay, lie! What the f f Are you just buying time then? What? He was just a spy. Why, why admit that you're buying time right now? What are you doing? He, he, he just... Okay. It's like, it's like he was told to do it. But, but, I, I'm confused. Now, now, now we're back to square one and now he hates Mirel, but I'm still gonna assume this is all part of the plan. <laughs> what the fuck? 
This NPC is getting so much dialogue today. Okay. That initial first half was also bullshit, and this one was to basically get them to trust us. This is still according to our plan, I want to believe. Whether or not he's intentionally doing it or not intentionally doing it, I don't know. But Mireille's plan definitely has this guy fucking snitching right now, 100%. Yeah, let's pretend to fall for the plan. Mm -hmm. Oscar winning acting? Or is he actually doing it and Mireille knows that he would do it? I don't know. But! <laughs> Read! <laughs> Did he read ahead the entire time he knew what the fuck? Okay, you snitch, you're fucking done. Yeah, there's something weird going on here, right? You got another one? What the fuck? Okay. Now, let's just entertain the thought that Reach has got it figured out, but what if... This is still according to plan. We're really reaching now with the copium, right? But maybe, maybe Mirel foresaw this path as well and knew that Reach would figure it out. But this is exactly how we want them to behave. Still according to plan. Maybe. That's a cold look. No, no, no. He still got him fooled. We got him fooled still. I want to believe. Hey, yo, get right behind. And again, the funny thing here is that you can only see the flags from this angle. Again, you only see the flags, you can't see other people, but. Oh, is that our team? Mirel's team? Yeah, it is. It's not gonna be that easy. Yeah, dummies, they're dummies, they're dummies. Alright, we got them baited. Okay. Okay, 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 So he was on our side, okay. That that was the part I didn't realize, right? I didn't know, what the other part was like, did he lie or did he not? Did Middle know he was gonna lie? It was all part, part of the fucking script. <laughs> yeah, but now what though? Maybe? <laughs> He does look fucking terrifying when he's scary. Really? You could outpace him? Holy shit, dude. She's gonna outpace him? Holding R in the back? Probably funniest fucking frame right now. She's having so much fun. Rich is just actually wanted to kill. R is like, what the fuck is going on? But she's actually faster. Yeah, that's today's episode. Quite a lot of mind games going on here. I was trying to read between the lines of what's going on with this new NPC character and letting a lot of dialogue, but basically, yes, it was all part of the, you know, the plan. She wanted him to go, you know, and snitch and then get caught and back and forth and then for them to get lured out and boom! You know, we figured out who ours was. Well, how does this actually help us though, right? Because like, they forced us to come here and now we're running away, but the running away part must also be part of the plan because Roselle and them, right? There was an important mentioning of like, is Roselle still keeping up, right? And then that's what we said right before they started running away. So this has to be like that, where we're running away, making them get separated. Then we can divide and conquer is probably her plan. Mireil, I think, is being... I don't know. I, I feel like if you're going to enter a new home and you start pulling all this shit, I, I think it makes a lot of sense on how everyone's upset at her, right? Totally understandable. But I think that once she proves her worth that she'll probably get her special treatment and be able to just be an alcoholic. But I think it'd be so funny that it, just like if she went sober, it's like her power, like she's limiting her power and it's just like limit her off kind of deal in the future where she's like, all right, I stopped drinking. Or maybe the alcohol is what fucking, you know, makes the, all the magic work. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.